Hey everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com, 203-892-4119. So, my memory card stopped working, so I lost the video from before, you know, before I started working on it, and all the stuff I did while I was working on it. So I'll go all over everything all over again. You've seen all the other stuff, so I'm just going to show you this one. So this is an Ameritron AL811H. Ended up replacing the neutralization bar here. Had the shorter style, put the newer one in. Had the older parasitic suppressor assembly. Uh, didn't have that, I'm sure. I'm, I'm sorry, it had the coil with the resistor per for each tube. I put this assembly in so it has the current parasitic uh, suppressor assembly. I took this whole assembly out. It had the grids lifted above ground with 50 ohm resistors. Two of them were non-inductive carbon composition type. The other two were wire wound type. So the wire wound ones had failed. Removed those, grounded the grids the right way directly to the floor, to the metal. Ended up changing the SO239 connectors because they had absolutely no grip on the PL259 when I would unplug it. See how hard it is with the new one. So, new Teflon dielectric silver plated connectors with stainless hardware with kept nuts. Replaced the meter protection diode. Ended up replacing the plate choke because the the old one the the band at the bottom wasn't. Uh, they they did it two different ways. They had a band that went around with a screw through it, and the one that was just clamped and glued. It had the older style, and it had shimmy down and had been arcing and the wire was damaged, the enamel wire. So that's all set. Filter caps are good. I want to make a note of something. Uh, Ameritron used to use pink resistors. They don't last as long as these black resistors here. So on the last one I did, they had sent me pink ones because they ran out of the black ones. So I ended up pulling those pink ones out and I purchased new Ohmite ones. And uh, it's even better than these black ones. So I took those out, replaced them, and just got a new fresh set of tubes from Penta Laboratories. Awesome company. Just great. Just awesome people. Great customer service. Can't say enough about them. They're just awesome. So this thing is all set. I think I went over everything. Oh, one last thing. It had a different meter in here. The customer had replaced it. Take note that the newer ones have a larger meter movement and it does not fit in the hole on, in the older ones. So if you're going to use the larger meter, meter movement, you have to file the opening on one side and go only one direction. Otherwise, you'll pull the decal off the front. I happen to have a new older one, so both lamps match the incandescent lamps. So now he's good to go. This was made in... Uh, when was it? Uh, 96? I forget how to... Let's see... Yeah, I think uh, 1996. This is an old unit. So, thanks for watching. AmpRepairGuy.com 203-892-4119 Please like, share, and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Take care. Have a great day.